I'm joined by Dr. Vanitha Benoy from Health City Cayman Islands, and we're going to be talking about immunotherapy. Thank you so much for being part of this and being part of this cancer symposium. Um, first of all, can you explain what immunotherapy is? Yeah, so we all have our immune system which protects us from various infections. I mean, we all knew that for long, you know. And we have these antigens and antibodies in the body and that fight and get rid of bacteria, viruses and all that. And, you know, for many years we knew that there's some kind of an immune surveillance system against cancers as well, you know. So, um, just like a bacteria or a virus, which is a foreign body, um, which is detected by our immune system and sort of destroyed, uh, the tumor cells are also um, surveyed or su under the surveillance of the immune system and a lot of the time we don't get cancers because of how active they are against the tumor cells. But when the cancers start growing and they get advanced, they develop uh, ways of camouflaging themselves from the immune system. So of in the last 20 years or so of research, uh, what they have identified is that we can take off or push off the camouflage of the cancer cells or if you activate our immune system to fight the cancer itself. So this is a, a modality which is quite different from the traditional ways of you know, chemotherapy or radiation. They act by direct cell kill. So they are cell poisons or they kill the cells, cancer cells directly. But this is a different way of fighting the cancer by making our immune system fight the cancer and kill them. So there are various modalities, but quite a few of them have come um, to the limelight lately and they're blockbuster drugs in its real sense because we find such amazing results for a lot of advanced cancers, for example, lung cancer, melanomas, advanced stage four, they have sort of revolutionized the treatment and now patients are living longer, unprecedented results in some advanced cancers with immunotherapy. So um, for three consecutive years, the American Society of Clinical Oncology, which is ASCO, has named immunotherapy as its cancer advance of the year. So it's a very important topic and uh, it's, I think it's a good idea to um, let the public know, let everybody know and that there is a new modality of treatment available which is quite different from the traditional ones. Well, and that's the, I think everybody thinks, okay, cancer, so surgery, radio, you know, radiation and chemotherapy and sometimes it was one of those or maybe all three of them or maybe yeah. a combination of two. So this is a game changer then, the immunotherapy. For many cancers, I would not say for all cancers okay. or all patients. Uh, we still don't know which cancers, we're still working on it. Okay. Um, but lately we have seen um, it work for a lot of cancers very well and we are still trying to find out which cancers what patient because several times we find the same cancer different patients it doesn't work so good so that's the current research you know trying to find out which patient it works best for but definitely especially lung cancer I would say it's a game changer and we have been giving immunotherapy here in the Cayman Islands for four years about and we see such fantastic you know unexpected maybe miraculous results in a lot of advanced cancers so particularly small cell lung cancer, is that right? Both, both non-small okay. and small cell. It started okay. off with non-small cells, mm -hmm. but lately it's been approved for small cells as well. Okay. And how has it changed the outcomes for patients who are diagnosed with that? Yeah, so when I say advanced stage four non-small cell lung cancer, the five-year survival, the, the possibility that somebody diagnosed today with stage four lung cancer will live for five years is less than 5%. So the first year mortality is so high, it's about 60 to 70 percent and the average survival was about 9 to 12 months after a diagnosis. But when we see that patients are living, the ones who respond to immunotherapy do very well even four or five years after the treatment. Sometimes we see complete responses. I would say this is a subset, small subset of the entire population, but whoever does well with immunotherapy, they go into fantastic responses, long-lasting responses. So the percentage of survival of non-small cell lung cancer stage four, seeing the five year, it's up to about 20 or 25 percent wow. now. So which is unprecedented. That's a, yeah, that is a major change. And then what about, you mentioned melanoma as well. Yeah, so even for melanomas, the survival, the, the five year survival has gone up for stage four, has gone up from about 10 percent or less to about almost the same, you know, 30 or 40 percent. And we're talking about even elderly patients doing well or going into complete sort of responses on immunotherapy. For melanoma, is it more, is, does it need to be late stage melanoma? Can it or should it be used in early stage? Some early stages, yes, especially when you have a high risk of recurrence. They have been trying immunotherapy as an adjuvant. Okay. So that it doesn't relapse or recur. 
Okay. What do patients need to be aware of or what questions should they ask and how can they make sure that they're getting the best treatment possible? Yeah, so it's very important that they become their own advocates, you know. So it's important when you have a diagnosis of cancer or your loved one, you do some research um, on the, the stage and type of cancer they have and please go to authentic sites only, not Dr. Right. Google. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, so we have some great websites like the NCI or the NHS or the cancer uh, dot uh, gov which is the ASCO site so a lot of uh, authentic cancer related websites so go up and you have all the information you need to know about the type of cancer the up-to-date information on the treatments available and I you know recommend everybody go through that and then come and ask your doctor questions and you're always entitled for a second opinion so that's also important you know to especially when you have advanced cancer or some rare type of cancer or something that is not standard well, it's good to know that immunotherapy is available right here in the Cayman Islands. And, uh, and it's important, we've talked about this with another specialist as well, you know, to be your own advocate and don't be afraid to ask those questions. Uh, thank you so much for sharing this information and um, sharing with us immunotherapy and what a game changer it can be. My pleasure. It's always very exciting. It's a very exciting time of the year to be here with the Cancer Society and its public health fair and all the other associated events. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Dr. Benita.